and worship Him. Would you bow and worship Him? Worship Him. Oh. Let it drain with the spirit of God. Let it drain with the presence of God. We need more you, Father God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We lift the name on high, God. Pas chili lenga banyong kulung kulgota simbonang of fana nawe. This evening we say by it and when you're my Zulu, you are great, you are majesty. One of you, one of Satan. We are here to declare that you are great, you are majesty. Thank you.
Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Jesus We bow down and worship you. We bow down and worship you. 
chido from you, oh God. As we open our hearts, oh God, creating us a clean heart, that we worship you. Oh God, thank you for your spirit, oh God. We are grateful, God. With the same atmosphere, just look at your neighbor and say, Neighbor, say, Neighbor, Neighbor, I love you, Neighbor. Thank you for the blood. Thank you for the blood. Not the blood of chickens. But 
by the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. Let's just rejoice in his presence. Hallelujah. Fire. So.
Jesus. Money to what? Look at your neighbor like this. With a smile. Look at your neighbor with a smile. Mama Lini Zela do Mama Bo. What? Shit, shit, shit. Why are you so shit? Why? I'm calling in Salafan. Somebody shout and say, Jesus. Jesus. Say, Jesus. 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 Let's go. Thank you, Jesus. Gonya, ma. Gonya, ma. Gonya, ma. Siti, ba, ye. Gonya, ma, ye. Asap. Siti, gonya, ma. Gonyama go Bayet Gonyama Sitting Gonyama 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 Where the 
people. Let's give the Lord a praise. Masimingagu, we songo, Joa, Kumani. Masimingagu. We songo cha guba ali. Hallelujah. He is the faithful God. We shall not be defeated. Hallelujah. Let's give the Lord a praise. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Samba, 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 Sinata, 
Shekenya, 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 Kitawa. Yeah, that's 
We are celebrating the cross. We are celebrating the power of the cross. We are celebrating the resurrection. We are celebrating. We are celebrating. We are celebrating. If it wasn't for the cross, you wouldn't be here tonight. If it wasn't for the cross, you wouldn't be here. You wouldn't be alive. You wouldn't be alive. Yanda la makosha. Yende de bokosiata. Hashata la bayande de bokosiata. Mande de bokosiata la bayanda. Yanda la makasiata la bayanda. We did not make it because of our own strength. We did not make it because of our own power. But we are here because of the blood. We are here because of the cross. In the name of Jesus. Yanda la makosiata. Yende de makosiata la bayanda. Yanda kasiata la bayanda. And I want somebody tonight to join me into celebrating the cross. I want somebody tonight to join me into celebrating the blood. The blood of the Lamb. Come on. Come on, church. You can do better than that. You can do better than that. We are not celebrating the blood of the goat, but we are celebrating the blood of the Lamb. Yonder the Bokosha. Yonder the Bokosha. The blood is speaking. The blood is speaking. The blood is speaking. The blood is speaking. It is still speaking. It is still speaking. Even today. It is still speaking. Even today. It is still speaking. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
will slaughter the gold. But I'm here to tell you that the blood that we are celebrating tonight cannot be compared. It cannot be compared. It cannot be compared. It cannot be compared. It still speaks. It is speaking in that situation. It is speaking in that sickness. It is speaking, it is speaking. It is speaking. It is speaking. We are not here tonight because we are confused. But we are here because we know that the blood still speaks. We are here because we know that if it still speaks even tonight, if it wasn't because of the blood, I wouldn't be standing here. Hallelujah. 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 The enemy must feel it this week. The enemy must know that we are celebrating. The enemy must know that we are celebrating. We are celebrating. We are celebrating. Come on, church. Celebrate. Come on. Celebrate. Celebrate. We bless you. Your word. We are celebrating. We are celebrating. We do not celebrate because all is well. We do not celebrate because we've got money in our bank account. But we celebrate because we know. We know. We know. We know. We know. We know. Hallelujah. 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 We know. We know. We know. And we are here tonight to let the devil know what we know. Give the Lord a hand of praise. Come on, come on, church. Hallelujah. 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 I'm here to welcome you tonight. Hallelujah. And as I welcome you, I want you to know. No, no, tell your neighbor and say, neighbor. You know. We know. You know why we are here. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Before we do any other thing, I want us to declare our vision and our mission tonight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is the vision that leads us. This is the vision that we are running with. Hallelujah. In the count of two, we are all going to declare it is being projected on our screens in the name of Jesus. One, two. Our vision, the big E, I exalt Christ. I evangelize the lost. I encourage the healthy. I enrich the community. And I equip the saints. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And we're going to be going to our mission again in the count of two. One, two. 
our mission, transforming the total man by restoring hope to the hopeless, training leaders, and equipping saints to the building of the church where Christ is the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 And tonight I want us to appreciate our mom and dad in the name of Jesus. For being with us in the name of Jesus. We love you. We love you. We appreciate you. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I want us to welcome one another in the name of Jesus. Just welcome the person that is next to you and tell them you did well by coming this evening. In the name of Jesus. Come on, come on. Just take a walk and welcome somebody in the name of Jesus. Tell them they did well by coming. They did well by joining us on the very first day of our He Has Risen conference. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. And I want to welcome you all in, on our very first day. Hallelujah. Of He Has Risen Conference. Hallelujah. 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 You did well by coming on our very first day in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And I want us to welcome our visitors, those that have visitors, visited us this evening. If you've got visitors, you are coming, you are joining us for the very first time. We will humbly ask that you raise your hand so that we can welcome you in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We've got brother this side. We've got a brother this side. In the name of Jesus, we welcome you. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I want us to welcome our brother. Uh, 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 we, we come a long way. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Pastor Reggie, in the name of Jesus, all the way from Mount Horeb. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah. Together with the people that he has come with, we welcome you in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. These are the guys that were here when all began. Hallelujah. And it is good that even when we, where we are, they can still come and witness what the Lord is doing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I want us to go and prepare our offering tonight. Hallelujah. I want us to go and prepare our offering tonight in the name of Jesus. As we are celebrating the cross. As we are celebrating the blood. I want us to go be, go and give before the Lord this evening in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We're just going to read the familiar scripture from the book of John chapter number 3 verse number 16. And the Bible says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only son. I just want that part. For God so loved the world that he gave his only son. Hallelujah. And the reason that we are here tonight, it is because of the love that God had for the world. It is because of the love that God had for me and you. Hallelujah. And the Bible says, because of the love that he had for us, he gave. Hallelujah. The Bible says he gave. And he did not just give anything. The Bible says he gave his only son. Hallelujah. And tonight I want us to go and give. I believe that we love what he has done for us. As much as he loved and he gave. And us tonight we are going to give out of love. Hallelujah. We are going to give because we love this ministry. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are not doing a different thing, but we are doing that which he has done. Hallelujah. The Bible says he gave his only. Hallelujah. I don't know the only that you have, but you know it. The Bible says he gave. And tonight I want us to go and give. Hallelujah. And I want you to give that which, that, that, that which you have purposed in your heart. Hallelujah. And when you give, I want you to believe that as the Bible says, he who gives 
it shall be given back. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And tonight we are going to give out of understanding. We are going to give out of the love that we have. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want you to prepare. If you have prepared it, I want us to just raise it. And then we go and pray. And then from there we are going to give in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you. Thank you for the gift. We thank you for the seed. We thank you for the only that your children are going to give tonight. Father, we pray in the mighty name of Jesus. Some of us, oh God, we are taking out of nothing. But Lord, we are giving because of the love. Father, we pray in the mighty name of Jesus that bless each and every hand. Bless each and every seed, oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord God Almighty, show it to them. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah. We are going to get a song from the worship team and we are going to give, we've got the swiping machines, we've got the basket in front, in the name of Jesus. Enjoy the service, amen. Shoot! Hey!
Jesus, are you excited to be in this place this evening? Are you excited to be celebrating the work of the cross this evening? Come on, somebody, celebrate God in this place. And on the very first day of our convention, celebrating the work of the cross, we have the servant of the Lord this evening who's coming to pour out the heart of God. And I want to believe that our lives are going to be transformed. When we sing and say, Indeed, ye zana na ye, we will be speaking from a point of understanding that it is a privilege to even be called. The price that he paid for us gives us this privilege. Yahubali relationship liena. We have got the servant of God this evening. He is a mighty man of God. When he opens his mouth, hey, ah, those who know, know. If you do not know, you are thinking it. But I know that the man of God that is coming to the pulpit this evening, ah, Sugama pepak salama kat bogis. Sugama pepak salama kat bogis. The devil is in trouble. He is a husband to one wife. One wife. You one. know we are at a conference when they introduce a guest speaker and say he's a husband to one wife. So we are in a conference, Mazalwani. He's a husband to one wife. He's our father, the visionary of this house. And I want us to stand up and celebrate the man of God as he's coming to pour out the heart of God this evening. Hallelujah. Well, somebody give God a shout of glory tonight. Come on, if you know that Christ is the reason, Christ, lift up your voice and give God a shout of glory tonight. If you know that the tomb is empty, lift up your voice and give God a shout of glory tonight. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. Well, God. For we know what we know and we are about to let the devil know what we know for we know what we know and we are about to let the devil know and his mother-in-law that greater is he that is on the inside of me that is in the world if you know what you know lift up your voice and give him a shout For we know what we know that the heavens are his throne and the earth are his footstool. For we know what we know that in the mentioning of his name every knee shall bow, every tongue shall confess. Every tongue that rises against you, God shall condemn. For we know. Oh. 
I don't know about you, but I've come to announce to the devil. I know. I know. Do you know? Do you know? Do you know? Do you know? Walk like you know. Move like you know. But every place that the sole of my foot trembles, he said, I will give you that land. I know, I know, I know that I will be blessed in the city. I will be blessed in the village. Everywhere I go, he said, he will make my name great. I will be a blessing everywhere I go. I will be a blessing everything I touch. I know! Can you just open up your mouth and worship God? Can you just open up your mouth and worship God? All over the building, open up your mouth and worship God. Open up your mouth and worship God. Just on monitor one. Come on, come on. Don't be a spectator. Just open up your mouth and worship God. Just open up your mouth and worship God. I'm fine. I'm fine. Open up your mouth and worship God. Receive your glory, God. Receive your glory, God, tonight. 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 We worship you, God. We worship you, Father. We give you praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lift them hands to the Lord all over this building. Stretch your hands to the heavens. Lift up your hands to the heavens all over. Shanda Dabakosa. Father, release your glory tonight. Release your power tonight. Release it upon your children tonight. Our hearts are open. Our spirits are open. We come to the altar of glory. We come to the altar of glory. Altar of glory. Altar of grace tonight. Alter our destiny, alter our minds, alter our walk in the name of Jesus. Shade, yandi kariye soda baba bakosha, yande reboko ungum shobo wetu, ungum shobo wetu, ungum shobo wetu. Siagwazi ngosi, siagwazi baba. Nami, nawe we are siasi dati. Sizaguwe, sizaguwe October baba. Shade ke suna na mayanda na bakosi. We give you glory, Father. Jesus name hallelujah 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 now lift your hands and give God a glory to now I know you can do better than that for God lift your hands and give God glory want to want to publicize my struggles um, and the battles that I fight um, but I want you to pray for me I shouldn't be standing here if you saw me in the morning you can't believe in the morning I had drips all over uh, I don't know how many injections were injected on me 
this morning and uh, around three o'clock mom calls me and says can you find somebody to speak at church I'm like not with the work of the Lord no she says but you're not okay I'm like mom if we have to die there we will die there but this is not a side hustle this is what God has called us to do whether we feel like it or we don't feel like it Yesterday I left church here. And I was, guys, I'm not saying this for you to feel pity for me. I'm standing here because I'm a living testimony of what we preach in this house. Yesterday I left church here. My whole right side was not functioning. I could not lift my hand. I couldn't sleep the whole night. My ear was affected. Everything is affected in your life. And somebody said to me, you're getting a stroke. I'm like hell to the no. Not with me. I'm like devil, you, you've come to the wrong place. You, you've come to the, you've come to the wrong place. Um, so I want you um, for the next three days. I'm the guest speaker for this conference. Mm. I've been scared about it. Um, I've been scared about it. I've been very. said to me, I had already contacted a guest speaker for this conference, but God said, no. We are going to another level. I'm like, God, I've never done this in my life. I think from today I'm preaching every day until Sunday, every single day. I'm like, I've never done this. And the Lord says, until you go over, the church will not go over. And I know everything that is happening is the works of the enemy. So I want you to take the next two minutes, if you can stretch your right hand. This is what I'm teaching the leaders of this church. I shouldn't be doing this. The leaders of the church must do this for their family. So I want you to pray for me as we are going to preach the word of God. And pray for yourself to receive the word. Open up your mouth and begin to pray. <laughs> Rakate da mandu koso tala bakoshi atala bayanda ila mandu kusi tiki dia mama makoso dia mama nda kaso leke mandi akapapa bakoshi tene bakasa hada mama mando kusi ataka la bayanda rebo kese udia kikeshi anda la bakosa la baya le 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 me 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 ndi kadi ababa ababa kosho hada ababa 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 kusi anda la bakoshi tene bayanda. Rikadia mamando kosete nebaka mandu kutulu bokoshi ataka la bayanda Spirit of the Living God 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 You have your way tonight Raka papa pakasiete Odia mandi kashota kalabaha Spirit of the Living God Spirit of the Living God You take church tonight Shateke nebo kusinda Lemendi kaba shotoko Labra kaputukoto Liminda katalabaha We arrest every principality of the enemy tonight we arrest every we arrest every scheme of the enemy tonight rakapate lebekete labakata hi shatakalia bababako yandikolo sota labayanda i pray in the name of jesus christ that almighty god you speak through my mouth and reason through my mind i receive the grace to minister your word tonight in jesus mighty and precious name we thank you for an open heaven tonight that tonight shall be a different night. That tonight somebody shall be liberated. In Jesus mighty and kingly name. We give you glory. We give you honor. For thine is your kingdom. The power and the glory forever and ever. We decree amen and amen. Now lift your hands and give God a hand. Come on somebody praise the Lord wherever you are tonight. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Yeah, I wanted it's a conference, so it feels good to be introduced as a powerful man of God. Um, you know, I think it must be done every Sunday. Uh, blessed be the name of Jesus Christ. What a great evening tonight. First night of our conference. And, uh,
thank God for the grace in this house. Hallelujah. Um, thank God for Pastor Reggie, all the way from Mount Horeb. Thank you very much for coming. Um, when I went to greet him, he said, I haven't seen you in a long time. And he said, no, um, today we've come to visit the mega church. tell people how people see you. So let's go visit the mega church. Thank you for coming to the mega church. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. We love you so much and uh, please send greetings to the apostle of the house, Pastor T.D. Mafara. These guys have been with us when there was nothing. Kaba is right. And we, we thank God. Hallelujah. We appreciate Mr. Rez. What a way. Yo. Uh, I was standing there and I said, Lord, there's no need for me to preach. It's done for the night because this guy just took my message. Like literally just took my message. And then God said to me, hey, don't be intimidated by the sons you are raising. The son has come to confirm what I've spoken to you. That's what sons do. Sons come to confirm. They don't come to compete. They come to confirm. Hallelujah. We appreciate God, God for raising your son. God is doing something in this house. I'm going to say it again. God is doing something awesome. I was sitting in my office when I arrived and shared this with you. Uh, and Mama walked in and brought in a man who was drunk. But he said, I want to talk to the pastor. And this man is from an American accent. He says, for ten, over 10 years I've been staying here. He says, I'm taking care of my years old and uh, he says I stay here I met I did the TV crew I do TV I do says I've done TOTI I've done this I've done big projects uh, and he says there's attacks that are happening in churches syndicates he started explaining a lot of things to me and he says he had to come in here here in Chippy's town uh, when he's in Gabi now uh, you can just arrive in places started this church. He says, you even have a guy who's wearing a yellow jacket down there, another one up there on Sundays. On Sunday, uh, on Wednesday evenings, this is happening and whatnot. And he says, but there's a difference with you guys. And he said to me, I thought me, when they was when I was sitting here, my mom will always say to me, open the window, let me hear the praises. And this guy, my boy, this guy is drunk. And he says, the difference with you and other churches is the praise that you carry. He's like, I don't know what you changed in your house now because the sound has gone down. He says, the sound has gone down. It's no longer how we used to hear you. And he said, please tell them they must increase the volume. I'm, I'm telling you. He said to me, some of us don't come in, but we hear you. to say to the church uh, we are seriously on the right track to conquer the enemy and let's do what God has called us to do come on let's give God glory <laughs> hallelujah uh, guest speakers will say um, greetings from the church at home I didn't come alone. I came with my daughter and my wife. Um, and one of the leaders from our church. Where are you? Stand up. <laughs> Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. We're still coming back again tomorrow. We're still coming back on Friday. So let's share the word of God together tonight. Briefly. Hallelujah. Are you ready for the word of God? Yes. Are you ready for the word of God tonight? Yes. Bless up. Check your neighbor and say, neighbor, receive the word of God. I've got the preaching anointing on me, but uh, I'm asking God to help me to teach this word. Um, whatever happens, happens um, in the name of Jesus Christ. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. 
Matthew chapter 17 and verse 22. We stand for the reading of the word tonight. And then um, you will jump. I've got a couple of readings. I wish I'd send this to you so that you're, re you're ready. Um, but we'll move as the Lord allows us to move. So let's start from Matthew 17, 22 to 23, New King James Version. Or you can move with the guys on the screen if you don't have a Bible. 22. You can too. And then we, we will jump to Matthew 27. 62 to 64 and then jump to Matthew 28 verse 1 and 2 and uh, the rest we will see as we go on verse 22 of chapter 17 now while they were staying in Galilee Jesus said to them the son of man is about to be betrayed into the hands of men and they will kill him and the third day he will be raised up and they were exceedingly sorrowful. Matthew 27, 62 to 64. Verse 62. On the next day, which followed the day of preparation, the chief priests and Pharisees gathered together to Pilate, saying, Say, we remember while he was still alive, how that deceiver said, After three days I will rise. Therefore, command that the tomb be made secure until the third day, lest his disciples come by night and steal him away and say to the people, He has risen from the dead. So the Last deception will be worse than the first. Read that last statement. So the last. So the last deception will be worse than the first. Let's speak together and say, so the last deception. So the last deception will, will be, be worse, worse than, the first. than the first. 28 and verse 1 and 2. Verse 1. Verse chapter 28, verse 1. Now after Sabbath. As the first day of the week began to dawn, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary came to see the tomb. And behold, there was a great earthquake, for an angel of the Lord descended from heaven and came and rolled back the stone from the door and sat on it. Hallelujah. Brother Kay, can you just pray for us tonight? Yeah, heaven. Heavenly Father, may you speak tonight, Father God. Heavenly Father, let each heart be open yes, to receive your word Jesus. with meekness, mighty God. Jesus. And let the evidence of it all, mighty God, be a persuaded heart, mighty God. Heavenly Father, we fully believe and yes, we Lord. know that we know that we know, mighty God. Yes, so Lord. like Paul said, I know whom I have believed. And tonight, Jesus. mighty God, we are here to listen, mighty God to the word that we fully believe. Jesus, For you have said in your word, if you believe, so it shall be upon you. And let it be so unto us, as according to your word. Heavenly Father, we pray upon the servant of the Lord, whom you have given unto us. Sure. Mighty God, may you anoint his lips, mighty God, that whatever he speaks, mighty God, it is what you are speaking unto the nations. It is what you are speaking, mighty God, Jesus. unto the continent, that those who do not believe, yeah, they shall Sorry. believe. In Jesus' mighty name. Let everybody shout and say amen. amen. Hallelujah. Well, before you sit down, won't you give somebody a high five and tell them these words and say, spoken to speak. Uh, tell somebody and say, spoken to speak. Blessed be God. Hallelujah. You may take your seats tonight. Shall take it. That's my subject for tonight. Spoken to speak. I'm not going to be long. Um, we are celebrating um, the crucifixion, the, the burial, and the resurrection, uh, the sharing of the blood, and the resurrection um, of Christ. And we are intentional as children of God to put value on this day. And this is our time. This is our week. 
um, and, and we need to seize this time and begin to decree and declare what we know. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, come on, church. Hallelujah. Um, now, now um, I want to just touch on a few things um, this uh, morning. Um, Job chapter number 22 and verse 28, the Bible says in the first um, line of scripture, the Bible says, you shall declare a thing uh, and it shall be established for you. You shall declare a thing and it shall be established for you. Um, where we have read, um, let me kick it off. Um, the Bible says in 28 and verse 1, on Sabbath, on the first day of the week, when the first day of the week began to dawn, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary, the Bible says they came to see the tomb. Right? The Bible says they came to see the tomb. And uh, this was a time of mourning. Because him whom they loved is no more. Uh, um, Joseph of Arimathea and Nicodemus were used by God. Um, Joseph of Arimathea, if you read biblical history, he is the one that uh, uh, had the political connection to request the body of Christ uh, for burial. And uh, he had to connect to another businessman uh, by the name of Nicodemus who provided the spices expensive spices to s make sure that they must anoint his body before the burial. And uh, they were used by God, but yet they did not walk with Jesus. Uh, they were never there. Uh, they were uh, 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 um, um, hidden disciples of Jesus. Uh, but they were, they, were, they were there for this time. You must understand, child of God, there are people that look very irrelevant in our lives, uh, but they look irrelevant because their time has not yet come. Uh, please don't write them off because their time has not yet come. Shake your neighbor and say, neighbor, my time in your life had not yet come. Um, and, and now Jesus has already been buried uh, and, uh, and, and they, they put him in the tomb. And, and the Bible says, uh, now Mary Magdalene and uh, the other Mary, women that were very powerful in the ministry of Jesus, um, the Bible says they came to see the tomb. They came to see the tomb. Hallelujah, somebody. They came to see the tomb. But where we have read this morning or, or this evening, the Bible says in chapter 27 or chapter 17, the Bible says the son of man, Jesus said to them, the son of man is about to be betrayed into the hands of men and they will kill him. Who is saying these things? Watch your Bible. Who is saying these things? I'm going to read again. Now, while they were staying in Galilee, Jesus said to them, the son of man is about to be, pray, uh, to be betrayed into the hands of men and they will kill him. Who is speaking here? Talk to me, church. Who is speaking here? Jesus says, the son of man. Actually, Jesus, stop complicating the matter. Just tell them, people are going to betray me and I'm going to be killed. I am going to die. Jesus was telling uh, uh, the disciples that I am going to die. says, I'm going to be killed. Shake your neighbor and say, neighbor, I'm going to be killed. Not you literally, but this is Jesus. Shake your neighbor and say, neighbor, I'm going to be killed. Not only killed, Jesus says, my killing will not just come. It will come after a betrayal. I am going to be betrayed. And you must understand that betrayal does not come from people that are far from you. Betrayal is done by the closest. Oh God. You must understand that Jesus was saying to them the enemy could not get to me but for the enemy to get to me he must get to my closest. Jesus was saying to the disciples I am protected from the access of the enemy. For the enemy to access me he must access my closest. Be careful of your proximity because your proximity 
proximity can be access to the enemy. Be careful of those that you call the closest uh, because those that you call the closest can open a door and open a loophole for the enemy to come in because you yourself, there's a whole job, there's a hedge of fire around you that the devil knows about it, his mother-in-law and the demons. They know, they say to God, but you have created a hedge of fire. You have created a hedge in such a way that we can touch his possessions, we can touch his children, we can touch his life, his life stock, but we can't touch him because there's a hedge. I'll shake your neighbor and say, neighbor, the devil can't touch me because I've got a hedge around me. Shake your neighbor and say, neighbor, I've got a hedge around me. I've got a hedge around me. I've got a hedge around my family. I've got a hedge around my health. I've got a hedge. Around. The devil cannot access me when the enemy cannot access you. He must access a Judas. Oh God, when the enemy cannot touch you, he must touch you through a Judas. Because he knows your heart for Judas. He's a betrayal, but he knows your heart for Judas. He's the one that is going to betray, but he knows your heart. He knows that if I touch Judas, I touch your heart. The Bible says, I'm going to be betrayed. And I'm going to be killed. And on the third day, he will be raised up. And they were exceedingly sorrowful. Now let's analyze the Bible here. Why were the disciples exceedingly sorrowful? Hey, you guys don't read your Bible. Jesus says, I'm going to be betrayed. I'm going to be killed. But on the third day, I will rise again. And the Bible finishes by saying, and they were exceedingly sorrowful. Why were they sorrowful? I'm going to be betrayed. I'm going to be killed. But at the end of the matter, I will rise again. Why were they sorrowful? They didn't. You must understand, human nature pays attention to negativity. Human nature over-exaggerates negativity. You can say, you, I'm telling you, you can shout at a child, correct the child, and yet still give, give them what they want, and they will not honor what you gave them. They will over-exaggerate what you told them. much time to go deeper into that. It's in a conference. So on Sunday, I was going to end there and move on. But watch this. The Bible says they were exceedingly sorrowful because they did not believe the last statement. Because to them, what he said before overpowered what he said last. To them, the message was about material. The message was about the killing, not about the resurrection. And the challenge why the church cannot operate in authority is that the message is about betrayal. The message is about the death, but never about the resurrection. Need I submit to the church that the story never ended in the tomb. The story never ended at the cross. The story never ended with the pain. The story never ended with Eloi, Eloi, Lama Sabakatana. It was part of the story, but the story had to come to an end with him saying, I will rise again. Oh, ye Calvary Christian Church, rejoice again. I say rejoice because he who was dead is no longer dead. The power of resurrection is operated. The problem is that you serve a risen king, but you're still sorrowful. You serve a risen Christ, but you still wash your hands in the air. You serve a risen Christ, but you are still a beggar. You serve a risen Christ, but you still are you still the tail. You serve a risen Christ, but you are you are still a follower. Church of God, it's high time that the church must embrace the resurrection of Christ and stop asking. I'm sorry. Stop feeling pity for yourself. Stop being sorrowful because he did not say I will end by being killed he said I will rise again I need to get someone here you must understand child of God that many a times when you are mourning you tend to forget the truth many a times when you are mourning when you are wounded you tend to forget who you are 
you tend to disconnect from your identity. You tend to forget what has been spoken. You disconnect from who you are. You must understand that the two women loved Jesus. They were there when Jesus was speaking. They were there in Matthew 17 when Jesus says, I will be raised again. But he said, but the Bible says they came to the tomb just to see the tomb. They were mourning. They came to see the tomb because they disconnected from what he said. They disconnected from the truth that he said. They disconnected from the prophecy that he said. He said, I will die. Indeed, I will die. I will be buried. Indeed, I will be buried. But he said, on the third day, I will rise again. And the women are coming. They are not coming to a confirmation. They are not coming to confirm the word. They are not coming to testify the word. But my Bible tells me they are coming to see the tomb. To them, it's all about the tomb. It's not about they have forgotten what he said. They have forgotten what he spoke. They have disconnected from what he said. You must understand, child of God, many a times when life batters us left, right, and center, when we go through the valley of the shadow of death, we forget the Samuel that came and said that I've come to anoint a king in the house of Jesse. We forget a Samuel that said we will not sit down until he arrives. We forget a Samuel that came with a horn full of oil and released it. But David, when you go through the valley of the shadow of death, don't forget the word that has been spoken. Because he did not just speak the word. He spoke it so that it can speak for him. It was spoken so that it can speak. It was not just spoken to fill the Bible. It was not just spoken so you, so you can read it. It was spoken because unless a grain of wheat falls to the ground, it remains alone. Jesus understood I'm going to die but resurrection will not happen unless I speak it. Resurrection will not happen unless I see it. Resurrection will not happen unless I declare it. Resurrection will not happen unless I prophesy it. Child of God anything that you want to happen in your life atmosphere is waiting that you must speak it. Anything that you want the atmosphere is waiting that you must speak it. Don't be silent. Don't be silent. God has given you my Bible says life and death it's in the power of the tongue. You might not have money. Give me sound. But you've got power. You might not have a car. But you've got power. You might not have a following. But you've got power. Whatsoever you want. Speak it. Somebody shout and say speak it. Because the devil is not scared of you. The devil is scared of what has been spoken. The devil trembles on what has been spoken. The devil runs away to what has been spoken. Listen to me, child of God. Paul and Silas were shut in the inner courts, but their mouth were not shut. Refuse for your sickness to start sickening your words. Refuse for your divorce to start divorcing your words. Refuse for your pain to start paining your words. Don't allow your situation to situation ship your word. In the midst of the situation, speak it, it will speak for you. I say, speak it. it who speak for you. They were coming. Hearts broken. Hearts wounded. Wearing black. Because they are mourning. But they are mourning a body that has been buried. But there's a word that will. They managed to bury the body. But they could not bury the word. They managed to bury the speaker. But they could not bury the spoken. They managed to nail the speaker. But they could not nail the spoken. Listen to me, child of God. That situation will hurt you. But it will never hurt the words. That situation will bring you down. I've come to announce that resurrection.
Resurrection is a result of a spoken word. Resurrection is an answer of a spoken word. Resurrection, we are not a church without results. We can't be a people without results. We can't serve God, yet we don't have the God results. Do you want something to be resurrected in your life? Speak it. Let them come to see the tomb. But he to not say, Let go. Uche. What's the one who pin and gun in old chess? I got pinning of color guaco. I got pinning of tandas a guaco. Uchesuame, who pin by the spoken words. Spoken word. Hey, I go home because I'm good for this. Hey, I'm not talking about a gula. Hey, I'm not talking Spoken word. Spoken word. You shall declare a thing. He said, I'm going to die. You shall declare a thing. I'm going to be betrayed. You shall declare a thing. But he said, on the third day, I've got the power of the word on the third day. On the third day. I don't care whether you like me or not. I don't care whether you received my gospel or not. I don't care whether you followed my ministry or not. But I've come to announce on the third day. I've come to announce on the third day. Where the culture, where the nature answers. But on the third day. Than the speaker. A spoken word can unlock doors in the future. A spoken word can get to places where the speaker can. Listen to me. Jesus was not there, but he spoke his resurrection before the arrival of death. Can I challenge you this morning? Before problem arrives, what have you spoken? Before sickness comes, what have you spoken? Because sickness will butter your body, but will never sicken the word. What are you speaking over your children? What are you speaking over your destiny? What are you speaking over your life? What are you speaking over your business? What are you speaking over your ministry? I understand Ramaphosa says uh, economy this, uh, unemployment this. Uh, Ramaphosa, that's your word. Uh, but I know greater is he. Uh, that's on. I know what I know. I'm about to let the devil know what I know. Uh, what is it that I know? For the word of God is power. The Bible says the word of God is active. The one that you are standing on. Listen to me, listen to me, listen to me, listen to me. A seed thrown to the ground does not bring forth soil. Somebody needs to catch me tonight. A seed thrown, the seed has been put to the ground, to the soil. But it needs the soil, but it does not bring forth soil. What does it bring forth? What fruits? Not any fruit. It brings forth its own kind. In the beginning, what's the word? The word was with God. The word was God. Nothing that has been created in this earth except through the word. Even me, I was created. Therefore, I am. Therefore, when I go through the valley of the shadow of death, I bring forth. Listen to me, child of God. Stop bringing forth after the world. Stop bringing forth just because.
because both words start with a W does not. Don't get confused. Was come confused? Come confused? I bring forth there. The devil has succeeded to conquer the church by disconnecting the church from the power. Now faith is the what is this? The word, guys. The word. Listen to me. That job is not sitting with the employers in the word. That marriage is not sitting with, with home affairs or sitting with that guy. Listen to me. Imagine Isaiah 55 and 10. NIV. Isaiah 55 and 10. 10. NIV. And 11. Preach that verse to me. As the rain and the snow comes down from heaven. Hi, cover the door. As the rain and the snow comes down from heaven. Yes. And do not return to it without watering the earth. The creation that was created. Ooh. It comes down from heaven. But it does not return without what? Without watering the earth and making it bud and flourish. Watch. The objective of the rain on this and the snow is to do what? To water, water the, earth. the earth. Isaiah says, the rain and the snow, when they come down, they understand their objective. God, 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 somebody must catch me tonight. <laughs> when they come down, they don't need you to accessorize them. They don't need you to clap hands for them. They understand whether you trample on them, they fulfill their objective. Whether you ignore them, they fulfill their objective. Whether you want to stop them, they fulfill their objective. Their objective is to water the earth. Read. So that it yields seeds for the sower and bread for the eater. If the rain and the snow does not fulfill its objective, therefore the sower will not get the fruits. They fulfill their objective so that the well, the earth must fulfill what? It yields seeds for the sower yield and seed bread for, for the eater. Yield seeds for who? For the sower. And what? And bread for the eater. But it starts with who? The sower. Ah, it starts the, with the, the snow. The rain and the snow. And the rain. Shake your neighbor and say neighbor. It did not start with me. It started from heaven. Hey, it started from heaven. The rain was being sent. But God knows all things work together for good. For them that are called according to his purpose. To them that are he, listen to me. The seed is coming. To the cedars. Bread is coming to the eaters. Rain is saying, if I don't fall, they won't be eating. If I don't fall, there won't be seeds. No, listen to me. I am an answer to the prayers of the sower. I am an answer to the prayers of the eater. The eater has been waiting for me to come. Listen to me, listen to me. Listen to me, listen to me. God, I don't have time. According to biblical order, listen to me. According to biblical order, your provision was not supposed to come from money. No, this is, this is world order that has governed you so that you don't have a place to rely on. That's why, listen to me, that's why rain had to fall from heaven for the cedar, I mean for the sower and the eater because the sower and the eater did not depend on money. They depended on God releasing the rain to the earth that he created and the earth will answer to what God has brought down to bring forth because everything that I need is already deposited on earth. Listen to me, listen to me. You are, your money, your, your, your life is too money orientated and not God focused. In such a way, that's, that's why God says, you cannot serve me and my mom at the same time. 
because listen to me, your provision is not in mammon. Your provision is already deposited. It's a silver and gold belongs to who? If you want gold, call it to heaven. God knows where it is deposited. He will call the earth to bring it forth. This is above your pay grade. Listen to me, child. You are too dependent on earthly resources. I mean, on, on worldly resources, not earthly resources. Worldly resources that you are missing out on kingdom resources. Whatever you have right now, it's a tip of an iceberg compared to what the kingdom has for you. Well, seek ye first. And all these things, what are these things that are deposited on my earth? If, oh, if my people who are called by my name, if they will humble themselves, turn away from their wicked ways, begin to pray to me. He said, I, the Lord, I will hear them from heaven. You call on FNB, God is not hearing. You call on West Bank, God is not hearing. Because the, church, the God of the church has become the funders, not the God himself. finish. So is my word that goes out from my mouth. So is my word that goes out from my mouth. Somebody shout and say, so is my word. You don't believe it. Shout it and say, so is my word. So is my word. That comes out of my mouth. That goes out from my mouth. Ah, preach it one more time. So is, the, is my word that goes out from my mouth. Yes. It will not return to me empty. Yes. But will accomplish what I desire and achieve the purpose for which I sent it. Do you hear the word of God? He says, so is my word. Come on, me attend to read again. So is my way uh -huh. that comes out from my mouth. When I'm standing here, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary, hear me, I spoke my word, it came out of mine. Wow. Your word must come out of the mouth of a prophet. I receive, I receive. Nonsense. The devil does not respect that word. The word must come away. When things are tough, the word must come away. Now watch it. The Bible does not say which word. Ah, you. But what confuses you? The Bible does not say the word of God. It says any word. As long as it came out of your mouth, it will accomplish. Now watch. Jesus, he speaks a word here. And he says, I will be killed. I will be betrayed. In three days. So is? So is my word that goes out from my mouth. Come, come. Now, that is my future. So is my word. Huh? That goes out from my mouth. Yes. It will not return to me empty. It will not do what? Return to me empty. What we learn about word here, give me 10 minutes, get in the close. He says, Word that you speak returns to you. Okay, Your children will reap the word. <laughs> Today when we pray, we say, in the name of? Who is Jesus? He's not here anymore. He's sitting at the right hand of the Father. But we are using his? Don't just speak. If you are not ready to embrace the return. God, why don't I have a service? Read. So is my word that goes out from my mouth. Yes. It will not return to me empty. Yes. But will accomplish what I desire. The word will accomplish what? What I desire. Shake your neighbor and say neighbor. The word. The word. Will accomplish. accomplish. What you. What I. Desire. Desire. Therefore. When you desire, it must be spoken. Desire has no power. Desired. 
desire has power spoken. Whatsoever you desire, speak it. Whatsoever you desire, you speak it and the word will return with the desire. And achieve the purpose for which I sent. Okay. It will accomplish and also achieve. Now watch it. Who is accomplishing? Who is achieving? I am. Who is accomplishing? Talk to me, church. Who is accomplishing? Who is achieving? Watch this. It's not me. I speak. The word achieves. I speak. The word accomplishes. Now he says, I'm going to die. still here. Which means I'm orchestrating the future. While I'm here, I'm designing the spiritual realm of my future. While I'm here. He says, I'm going to die. I have already seen myself dead. Therefore, when I arrive at death, I don't fear it. Because I've already spoken to you. Actually, I addressed you before you showed up. I relinquish and release your authority before you showed up. Therefore, when you show up, you think you are surprising me. I knew you were coming. Because I spoke you before you arrived. I knew that it was ordained unto me that troubles and tribulation will begin to go. He says, he says, he says, you will not enter the kingdom of God, but you will enter the kingdom of God through trials and tribulation. You will not enter the therefore when trials and tribulations come, I am not surprised because you were spoken before you came. You see, what was making Mary and Martha to mourn Lazarus, it was it was because they didn't understand. That it was already spoken that he is just sleeping. He's not dead. It's finished. And he says, he says, he says, I'll be betrayed. I will be killed. Buried. And he says, I will be raised up. Will be raised up. Watch, we're closing. We're closing. Let me tell you. Now, read, read Matthew 27, 62 to 64, and we are closing here. Sixty-two. Yes. New King James Version. Sixty seven. Uh -huh. New King James Version. Yes. On the next day which followed the day of preparation, the chief priests and Pharisees gathered together to Pilate, yes. saying, uh -huh. Say, we remember, while he was still alive, how that deceiver said, after three days hey, I will hey, read. Hey. The chief priests and the Pharisees gathered, they gathered to but Pilate, he's, but he's dead. But they still gather. But they still what? Gather. Uh, listen to me. Let me put you. Let me put you. Let me put When I unge eko. When I usi. And you are not there. Mara bakulu mangao. Ika malako bazo likuluma. When I unge eko. Because they respect the word that you spoke. They don't. Baba, give me a ten. Baba, give me a ten. Baba, chungwa. Baba, chungwa. Baba, chungwa. On the next day, uh -huh. which followed the day of preparation, yes. the chief priests and Pharisees yes. gathered together to Pilate, yes. saying, yes. Say, uh -huh. we remember. Somebody shout and say, Say, we remember. Oh, you're not talking, guys. Shout and say, Say, we remember. We remember. Who are the chief priests? Who are the Pharisees? The enemies to the gospel, the enemies to Jesus. They hated him, they crucified him. But they remember what he said. <laughs> they, 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 in, in the midst of crucifixion, they never forgot what he said. While they were spitting on him, they never forgot what he said. While they were tweeting about him, they never forgot what he said. While they were crucifying him. But the Bible says they gathered. I've come to announce tonight that the devil will remember what you say. 
the devil will remember what you say demons will remember what you say i've come to announce that that situation leave it to trouble your family leave it to trouble your finances but one day is one day keep on speaking it will remember what you say finish the scripture saying say uh -huh. we remember while he was still alive while what while he was still alive. Somebody shout and say, while I'm still alive. Shout all over the auditorium, while I'm still alive. I will speak the word. Shout and say, while I'm still alive. I will speak the word. The Bible says they remembered what he spoke. While he was still alive. They remembered what he declared. While he was still alive. People will not remember your clothes. People will not remember your makeup. They will not remember your suits, but they will remember what you spoke while you are still alive. I've come to announce to the kingdom right now, principalities will remember. When you are no more, your children will move upon what, what you spoke while you were still alive. Doors will be open upon which that which you spoke while you are still alive. I've come to encourage you, mama, don't give up on that son. Don't give up on that man. Don't give up on that job. Don't give up on that relationship. You can Continue speaking. Let them talk. Let them discourage you. Let them ridicule you. But speak while you're still alive. While you are still alive, continue speaking. Don't allow discouragement to speak. Don't allow disappointment to speak. Don't allow HIV to speak. Don't allow unemployment to speak. Don't allow whatever anxiety to speak. Depression to speak. Rise up and declare because they will remember. remembered how is... that deceiver said yes after three days i will rise after three days i'll do it i will rise continue therefore yes command that the tomb be made secure until the third day command what that the tomb be made secured until the third day they are going to try and secure the tomb look at softness they are not securing the tomb they are scared of the word that has been spoken. The enemy is going to strategize against the word. But let me tell you something. He, he will not stop the word. He can't stop the spoken word. Any word that you will speak tonight, you, he can spoke this. He can, he, he can stop that word. Listen to me, child of God. Jesus was buried. He spoke it. Now the word is speaking. He is no longer speaking. The word is causing mayhem. The word is causing havoc in the palace. Now they must call Pilate and says, let's strategize to stop this word. And he said, I cannot say this. Therefore, command that the tomb be made secure until the third day. Yes. Lest his disciples come by night and steal him away uh -huh. and say to the people, he has risen from the dead. So that so the last deception will be worse than the first. So the last deception will be worse than what? Than the, which means, let me tell you something. <laughs> the, this, I mean, the enemy was remembering the word. Not just the word, but they knew what he spoke. Heaven is going to honor. Heaven is going to make sure that this thing comes to pass. Therefore, we better strategize. Please seal the tomb. They were not sealing for him. They were trying to stop the word. Because the word has been spoken. Jesus, please don't. That's why Jesus slept in the tomb. He was not in worry. He was not in despair. Because he knew I spoke the word. He did not try to fight them. Because he knew I spoke the word. While they were making him to carry the cross. He did not try to run away from the cross. Because he knew I spoke the word. I spoke the word. I spoke the word. Therefore, now when he was in the tomb. He spoke the word. He, sp he knew that the word that I have spoken. And it's powerful. It's going to activate that which I spoke. Now when Jesus walks and begins to come into a place of crucifixion, he comes to a place, he walks as the king of the Jews. He walks as the king of kings because he's walking on the word. He walks without fear because he's walking on the word. He's already spoken his walk. He's already spoken his happening. He's already spoken his death. Now when death comes, he says, oh ye death, where is your sting before? You have no power 
over me because I have already spoken the word. You have no authority over me because I have already spoken the word. I've come to announce to somebody where now you can speak right now and tomorrow the word will speak for you. You can speak right now. December the word will speak for you. You are stressed because you are not speaking. And tonight I want you to activate the atmosphere and speak what you desire because the word will achieve and accomplish what you desire. Today we celebrate resurrection because resurrection is a result of a spoken word. Stand up for you. A spoken word. A spoken word. It was spoken so that it will speak. It was spoken so that it will speak. It was planted, buried, so that it must grow. It was buried and forgotten, but the soil never forgotten. When you can speak today, and that sickness will listen to you. You can speak today. You operate on the power of resurrection. The power of resurrection is the power of results. You don't serve God without results anymore. You speak and you walk, and people say, how can you walk tall in things like this? I've spoken the word. How do you walk tall when things are a mess? I have spoken the word. How do you walk tall when things are breaking apart? I have spoken the word. I have spoken the word because I understand the word will accomplish. The word will fulfill my desire. In Jesus' name. Lift them hands to the Lord. A spoken word. A spoken word. Speak it into the atmosphere. Speak it into the atmosphere. Speak it into the atmosphere. And say, I shall have what I decree I shall have what I decree. Tonight, Calvary, you shall have what you decree. Whatsoever you desire, speak it into the atmosphere. Whatsoever you want, speak it into the atmosphere. Just speak it. Just speak it. The enemy wants to silence you. The enemy wants to ridicule you. The enemy wants to reduce you. But tonight, rise up and speak it into the atmosphere. Speak it into the atmosphere. You shall have it. God's delays are not his denial. Speak it into the atmosphere. I say, speak it into the atmosphere. I'm not about to call out a call, but I'm here for the cedars. I'm here for the sowers. I'm here for those that need God. Speak it. Your desire. The word can achieve. The word can unlock. The door. The word can open. The word can make things happen. Speak it. It will speak for you. I say, speak it. It will speak for you. The word will speak. I said the word will speak. I said the word will speak. Will speak. Shata kateke rabako shata. Whatsoever you desire tonight. Whatsoever do you desire tonight. Connect to the power of resurrection. Speak it. Speak it. Speak it. You shall have what you decree. I say you shall have what you decree. Decree, declare, decree, declare, decree, declare, prophesy it. Whatsoever you want, the devil has no power over your word. I know you are discouraged. I know you are about to give up. My brother, my sister, before you quit, speak the word. Speak the word. As I speak. Speak the word. Shata kataka. There is an atmosphere of possibility. Speak the word. Speak the word. Call out. Produce. Deliver. A spoken word. A spoken word. A spoken word. Are you a young person? Speak the word. Speak the word. Speak the word. Are you a single parent? Speak the word. Speak the word. A married man. A married woman. Speak the word. Speak the word. Speak the word. Speak it. Speak it. Speak it. Speak it. Speak it. Heaven will honor. 
your word, your word, your word, your word. Speak it, speak it into the atmosphere. Speak it into the atmosphere. Speak it into the atmosphere. Raka pa 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 ha 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 before we leave tonight, release that word, release that desire. The word will accomplish, the word will achieve, the word will unlock, the word will release a spoken word, a spoken word, a spoken word. Shadabakosa in Jesus' mighty and kingly name I thank you for every spoken word that has been spoken tonight lift your hands to the Lord just take down the music speak the word speak the word speak the word don't worry where the word is going to fall don't worry what's going to happen through the word. How the word is going to grow. How the word is going to germinate. It's not your endeavor. Your endeavor. Speak the word. Speak the word. Speak the word. Speak the word. Before you quit, my sister. Before you throw in the towel on the child. Speak the word. You have spoken everything except the word. But tonight, speak the word that we should desire. Speak it. Speak it. Speak it. You shall reap the fruits of your word. Speak it. Speak it. Do you have a business tonight? Speak the word over that business. Speak the word over that business. Your desire must be spoken. Your desire must be spoken. Your want must be spoken. Speak it. Speak it! Speak it! The power of resurrection is happening tonight. 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 Speak it! Speak it! Shapako, take, katapako, lapreke. He says, those that love the tongue, they will eat the fruits thereof. Tonight, you are reaping the fruits of the tongue. Speak it! Speak it! Speak it! Speak it! Close your eyes wherever you are. Lift your hands. I want you to shout after me. Say, in the name of Jesus. Shout from the top of your voice. Say, in the name of Jesus. In 2024. I speak a word. Over my life. I speak a word over my family. I speak a word over my surrounding. I speak a word over my job. I speak a word over my marriage. I speak a word over my children. I speak a word over my studies. Say, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I shall have everything that I desire. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Atmosphere. Principalities. Hear me now. Hear me now. In the name of Jesus. Unlock. Unlock my blessing. Unlock my healing. Unlock my favor. Unlock my peace. Unlock, unlock in Jesus.
Jesus. In Jesus' name, I receive it in 2024. Say, in the name of Jesus, it is done in my future, in my tomorrow. Amen and amen. If you believe it, give God a shout of glory. I shall have it. I shall walk in it. It shall come to pass. Not by power. Not by might. But I spoke it. I spoke it. Come Katani. As Katani is coming. He's a result of what I spoke. I don't need to go to him. But I will speak it. I speak it prophetically. As Katani is coming. So shall your blessing come to you. So shall your answer run to you. So shall your answer walk to you. So shall your answer find its way to you. As much as it was decreed that the spirit needs its owner, even the blessing needs its owner. Because every blessing has got an owner. Tonight I receive my blessing through the spoken word in Jesus' name. Give somebody a high five and say, speak it, it will speak for you. 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 Now if you believe it, give God a shout of glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. They ask you, what is this resurrection? Tell them resurrection is a power of results. Resurrection is it's in the results. It's not spoken and it doesn't come to pass. Heaven honored it. I will teach you tomorrow. Heaven honored it. Tomorrow we speak about reason to restore. Don't miss tomorrow. Do not miss tomorrow. I'm telling you, after the end of this conference, God will have changed a lot of things. Blessed be the Lord. Thank you for coming tonight. The first day of the conference. I apologize for the time. But it's 9 o'clock. This is Zambia Roberto. I should have done by half past 8 or so. Next week, tomorrow. Please keep time. Let's be on time. But we're going to finish early in the name of Jesus. Thank you for listening to me. Thank you for the invite, Calvary Christian Church. I'll hand over to the set men of the house. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. God bless you. Amen. Come on, let's celebrate God in this place. Hallelujah. Let's celebrate God this evening. What a way. What a way to start the conference. What a way. What a way to start the conference. I totally believe that our lives will never be the same again. Hallelujah. Let's celebrate the servant of the Lord. We ask our protocol team to usher our guests to the guest lounge. Let's usher our guests to the guest lounge. Where's Mama P? Where's Mama P? Let's, let's usher them to the guest lounge. Hallelujah. Those who came with the guests. Those that accompany the guests. Did we receive the word this evening in Barcelona? Did you receive the word for you? A spoken word cannot be ignored. Ha! Huh? What a word. I've read that verse over and over again. This one I've never found out. So we are expecting even tomorrow. Worship, worship.